Well, video, yay! Uh, anyway, okay, first, um, yeah, the pointless guy, he left a comment on the last video, and it was kind of funny, you know, he talked about how he's, he looks at my website like Michelangelo looked at a, a blob of marble, and, um, yeah, it's sort of a great line. It also indicates that he's seen the movie, The uh, Agony and the Ecstasy, and, <laughs> you know, sort of, um, you know, anyway. Uh, but yeah, the, you know, the website is, uh, yeah, I have no, I have no, um, I mean, I am an artist, I mean, I do know what style is and art and shit, but I just have no, I, I just can't convert it into an internet psychology. I mean, my psychology for the internet is, yeah, links, you click on the links, you go, you, you read, you read, you do, that's it, you know, so I really don't think in terms of style at all. So anyway, the point being that I have decided that it would be good if we can, if we can, uh, allow... Set, set Michelangelo free on the website, but you know he's got to look. The guy's got to make a living. You know he lives in Chile. Life sucks there. So I figure we could just kill two birds with one stone. We could do a favor for him, and we could do a favor for the website, uh, which you know, you know. And I can always have alternatives. You know I can always have a little button where you can choose what look you want, and uh, so that'd be cool. And uh, so it'd be good. But you know the little. Well, um, so anyway, the point is I'll leave my PayPal link below, and, uh, I'll guarantee I'm a hundred dollars anyway, so whatever, short of a hundred, I'll make up the difference, and, um, I'd certainly throw in twenty, twenty-five bucks, let's say, uh, you know, at least, and, uh, yeah, and so we'll, we'll give him a commission, and, uh, you know, do the Pope thing, and say, um, uh, when will it be done, or whatever the guy always said in the movie, uh, when will you, when will there be, a, well, when will you put an end, yeah, that'll be it, when will you put an end, uh, anyway, so yeah, I think it's a good idea, uh, yeah, but it's gonna be way overdone, style thing, Ugh. yeah, but anyway, he does have that, he's got that style thing, the pointless, uh, you know, he can say anything, I mean, you could write anything, silly, stupid, any stupid, silly thing you could write on a piece of paper, and he could say it with style, he's just got that thing, whatever that is, uh, you know, charisma and such. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's, that, that, that's the business of the video. Uh, alright, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I did a response video to Pyro, it's on Blip, just in case you're curious. Um, but yeah, this philosophy thing, no one's talking about the reality, so until we have a real argument, this is just bullshit to say, uh, yeah, go ahead. there's other philosophers on the internet. No, you're not philosophers. You're just talking shit. You're not explaining what life is. You're just talking about possibilities and metaphors and and uh, bullshit. Just nonsense. The DNA has a mission. Well, who cares what the DNA's mission is? DNA's a dumb motherfucker. Why the fuck should I be listening to a DNA molecule? Why should I listen to a star? Why should I listen to a galaxy? Why should I listen to the whole fucking universe combined? Explain to me how it has a brain, an intelligence, a wisdom, how it can make any value equations whatsoever. No, I can't do any of that. I'd be better off finding the dumbest human being on planet Earth and doing exactly what he says uh, than I would be listening to the universe, you dumbasses. Anyway, that's a whole other subject. So anyway, I'm going to do some experiments in this video. Well, an experiment. So this is polarized film. <laughs> you know, so I haven't done this before, so we'll just see how it works out. Because I have no idea. So this is, so you put a piece of polarized film. Okay, well, yeah, I got way too many things in my hand here. E-cigarette. Put that in my, next to my penis or something. Anyway, um, let's see if that's working. Yeah, you can still see. Um, alright, so that's polarized film. Polarized. So what that means is it's got a bunch of lines going through it. Little tiny lines, basically. And so the light it's letting through now is being filtered. You know, the light that's going the wrong way can't get through. It hits the bars, hits the lines somehow. And, uh, but the light that's going the right way gets through. So it sort of indicates that light does have a shape. You know, that a photon has a shape. That it's not some kind of round thing. If it was a round thing, it would block them all or not block them all. Unless it was a size thing, you know, unless there was little, little ones and big ones. So we could argue that maybe the little ones are still getting through, but the big ones aren't. But then that theory gets fucked, because when I take another piece, okay, same stuff, and I put it this way, well, that means all pretty much okay, right? It's all pretty much the same. You don't lose that much, right? Looks about the same, uh, you know, the same amount of deterioration, uh, same amount of diminishment. 
But then the minute I start turning it, right, I start to turn it. So there's three quarters. There's, there's a quarter. So I've, so now it's it's 45 degree angle. Now, okay, it's getting a little dark now. Okay, it's getting a little fuzzy. Uh, we're killing more light. We're, we're we're filtering out more of them somehow. Now, if it was just a size thing, well, then this wouldn't happen. And look at this. If I go all the way uh, perpendicular, that's the word, correct? Uh, okay, we yeah, we lost almost everything, didn't we? Uh, there isn't much left, right? I, don't, I can't see you, so I'm pretty sure you can't see me. Let me look. Oh, no, that looks pretty bad. So, see, and I can just turn it and filter more or less. You see that? Of what's left. Because now, we, now the first filter has straightened everything. Everything has to be in a certain direction to get through that first filter. And now that we have everything in that direction, now we can kill things based on how close they are to perfect. Okay, perfectly, uh, not perfect, uh, that's the wrong word. Uh, that one specific shape, uh, you know, going th one angle. And so anything, you know, this will let all of it through and this will take out a p the portion that's a little bit crooked, not quite perfect, but the still the ones that are perfectly straight are still getting through. Well, the ones that are actually this angle, you know, but so it's close enough between vertical and that, uh, you know, and then like I said, you wipe them all out. So anyway, just a little experiment. Let's see, I'll, I'll look this way and I can see what you saw. Yeah, the first filter really isn't that bad. And then, yeah, that second filter. Ooh, cool. It makes a little roundy thing. That was pretty cool. Let me see. Let's see. Alright, yeah, so that's the filter. I start turning the filter. Oh, okay, now that's interesting. That's interesting. Alright, so you still are seeing something. There's still some infrared or something's getting through the filters, even when they're juxtaposed against each other. Now that would look completely black from my eyeball's perspective, but the camera is, it can pick up infrared. Uh, you know, it has a filter to block it, but it still picks up quite a bit of it. And so it's still seeing the world as if it was night and it had night vision. It's still picking up the infrared. So that's kind of interesting. I'll have to i have to think on that one. What's the implications of this, Gary? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of cool. All right, but you see, just a little turn, we turn it. So anyway, this is what we're working with. I'll just show you. Oh, well, I'll show you on the ground. See, two filters, and all I did was change the position. So by changing, altering that, it turns it black. And, uh, oh yeah, I can do it this way. And you can sort of see that it gets black, and then when I have them going the same way, you can sort of see through them a little. So anyway, all right, a little physics. Yeah, um, so it's sort of interesting with the camera. So I'll have to do some other experiments with the camera and such when I have time, because uh, there's so many things I'd like to do, and there's no fucking way I can make any time to do them, which really sucks. I mean, I had a whole almost decades where, you know, my life was really undercooked. I mean, you know, I had time to burn. And now that I need the time, I don't got it. Now that I'm motivated, even though I'm horribly depressed, which is weird. <sighs> that is a weird circumstance. <sighs> but whatever. It's, it's what it is. So, um... Yeah, so I don't know if there's a need for any further videoing. I'm really wired today. I mean, I say this is my problem. I mean, I have to live my life like this. You know, one day I can't wake up. The next day I can't, can't turn it off. I'm so hyper, I'm going to explode. And uh, I'm not manic in personality, which is... I've never had that problem. But I'm just... My physiological... Uh, reactions are pretty manic. They've never really been this bad, but it's this thyroid thing. Got, you know, my thyroid's a little fucked. And, uh, you know, I have a medication, but it's really hard to get the number right. I mean, you're either too juiced or you're not enough. And, uh, yeah, so it doesn't work too good. And it fucks up your whole metabolism, which ends up fucking up your blood sugar. And, uh, 
you know, just makes life uh, a little bit of a pain in the ass. But, I shouldn't say but. I mean, I should just say it makes life a little bit of a pain in the ass. I should just say it makes life a pain in the ass. And just leave it at that. Why should I have to qualify it with some kind of, oh, but there's people with a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. Fantastic. That makes me feel so much better. Oh, yeah, there's people suffering even more. Oh, super. Fantastic. Why the fuck does that work? <sighs> oh, god damn. Uh, any good. <sighs> anyway. Hey, there's the leaf thing that I saw the other night. It moved. Ooh. It's got powers. Look, that rock moved, too. <laughs> How the fuck did that rock move? Jeez. Something going on here. Yeah, stuff going on here. Blair Witch Project. Yeah, I get Blair Witch Project through these filters. Ooh, Blair Witch Project. Ooh. <laughs> no, not really. Anyway. Oh, I didn't turn them. You gotta turn them to get the Blair Witch Project effect. Let's go for a three quarter Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Which, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Spooky, spooky. <laughs> anyway, see the flowers back. Always somebody. I really ought to have days. Just call it leaf blower day. I, I know it wouldn't work because, you know, people can't be at everybody's house on the same day. It really is irritating. Every single fucking day has to get fucked by lawnmowers and leaf blowers. <sighs> yeah, it's just kind of depressing. I think this is the, how life works. Oh, here's the leaf monster. That was a different leaf monster. This one's still where he's supposed to be. So, see? Yep. No mystery after all. <sighs> okay, but that rock was still fucked up. So, I still have to explain the rock being dug out of the ground. But I think what happened was when they cut the grass a few weeks ago, they hit the rock, <laughs> and uh, then the rock got pushed out of its hole and such. It's footing. Oh, a piece of litter. Yeah, we're gonna look at the litter. Ooh, litter. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good piece of litter. Yep. Alright, yeah, this video is a little bit fucked up. So, well, I guess I'll put it on YouTube. I did see a video really pissed me off. I mean, somebody linked me to a lot of things to talk about, but whatever. 500 zillion links people send me. What the fuck? Would you really think I can go visit 20,000 websites? <sighs> Please. Uh, anyway, um, well, anyway, they linked to a video about this cat that was, you know, taking care of its dead friend or fucking it or whatever it was doing. And then they linked to, from the, but that video linked to a squirrel. You know, it was uh, protecting its dead friend from crows or its wife or whatever it was. And I'm really, I read the, some of the comments and I was like, human beings just suck. I mean, nuke the fuckers. Human beings suck. I mean, yes, okay, most people were sympathetic. But there was still a large number of people who were just making jokes. And, uh, you know, just talking like, you know, not, not getting it. You know, that this little squirrel was in crisis and having a really, really bad day. And, uh, his old friend was dead. And these fuckers, you know, they, they had no empathy. I mean, you know, no worries that they care about or worry about mountains. They, they certainly don't care about fucking living things that feel. And you're just saying, somebody fucks these assholes? Somebody actually has sex with these fucking morons? It scares the fucking shit out of me. So I say, yeah, just nuke the whole place because of these, these fucking insectoids that are calling themselves human. Uh, yeah, it just makes you want to, just, oh, I just, I wish, I wish I could just, I wish I was an alien, I could just press some little buttons on my little arm there, and just blow this shithole to hell. Fuck. People suck. I mean, they really, really, especially YouTube people. YouTube people suck. Whatever they are. 13-year-old morons. Kill them. Fuck them. Stomp them. Throw up on them whenever possible. <sighs> God, it is so fucking hateable. Anyway, until next time. And such.